Exceeding all expectations Even though these bitches hating I'm not easily impressed All I get is these checks Grinding, earning my respect Work I more time for me The first product I use in my skincare routine is the Ultra, the Neutrogena Ultra Gentle um, Daily Cleanser and the Foaming Formula. I love this one. I think I put that in my last skincare routine, but I still use it first every time. Take it on my hand and just go my face. Alrighty, so the next product that I'm going to follow up with, well actually no, I'm going to show you guys two different products that I was using um, that cleared up my face in two days, but then after I used it for the third time, it started to burn my face. So I don't know if I was having a reaction to it because I'm telling y'all, I had this big old red like patch down my face after using it. And after the fact, I looked at the back because I didn't end up reading the ingredients on it. And I finally did and it said that there was fragrance in it and my face cannot ha handle fragrance. Like if I'm spraying perfume on myself and I accidentally get some like on my face on accident I will have a breakout right there like that's how sensitive my face is to fragrance so then I finally figured out that it was this but if you don't have super sensitive skin this is perfect for your skin because it literally cleared mine up in two days but then I was also getting patches at the same time but I just didn't realize that it was this breaking me out so yeah but this is really good it's the clean and clear continuous acne control and it's a 10% benazyl peroxide acne treatment and then I also was following up with the Deep Clean Toner by Up and Up. And yeah, so these were two super good things, but they did end up giving me a reaction. So I no longer use them, but I'm but they did clear my face up in two days. So I'm gonna use a little bit of this um, blemish controlling apricot scrub by Up and Up and basically it just prevents breakouts and also gets rid of them and it is really really good it's a selectic acid treatment for your face which is like a deep cleaning treatment so I'm going to use just a little bit of this today this also has fragrance in it but the fragrance in this did not end up breaking me out as far as I know of so I'm going to use a little bit it looks kind of like oatmeal and I'm going to take that and I'm just going to scrub it on my face with my Freeman face mask I tried I have this honey Manuka honey something like that mask that I was using for a while before I could find this again and I did finally and I just still my OG face mask my go-to for when I'm breaking out and so this basically balances some balances your skin for a renewed look and it clears your pores but I like to use it as what it is an anti-stress mask when I'm stressed out um, I break out a lot so this really really helps me when I'm stressed about school or something because that's like the most time I ever stress out in the summer I never stress I mean I never no, no I don't ever stress but um, in the summer I never break out um, it's always during the school year because of obvious reasons but um yes yeah, so i'm gonna take that and i'm gonna put that all over my face and i usually leave this on for about 10 minutes because 
sometimes it becomes itchy if you leave it on too long like because it's so dry and it just makes your feel your face feel just I don't even know how to explain the feeling but it is a clay mask so of course it's going to lock in and be super solid but yeah I don't like the feeling of it too much I just like what it does <laughs> so yeah I leave it on for about 10 minutes and while I'm doing Leaving that on, I like to listen to music or go on Snap or something like that. Finish up homework if I'm taking a break from my homework to wash my face. Whatever the case may be. Put that all over. Looking like an avatar. I look like a whole avatar right now. It's okay though. I'll be back in 10 minutes. Thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my TN Dixon's Witch Hazel which is a holy girl product that is so good for your skin. I'm going to take these um, round little cotton pads. I'm going to take two of them and I'm going to squirt the um, Witch Hazel all over it and then I'm going to apply it all over my face just to get any hidden dirt that I miss like any hidden makeup, anything. Even though there shouldn't be any hidden makeup because I wasn't wearing makeup today, so. Then I just wave it dry. Once that's dry, I take my oil free facial moisturizer for sensitive skin by Up and Up. <sighs> One of my all-time favorite facial lotions. Even though I feel like since I don't have super oily skin, I might want to get one with oil within it for the winter time. Because I have like, I forgot what it's called when you have, well, no, combination skin. I have that. So it's like sometimes I'm oily, sometimes I'm dry. So I feel like I need to get an oily lotion for the winter time because my skin has been feeling so dry. Um... And I've been trying to find really good moisturizers. If you guys have any suggestions for, like, body moisturizers, please let me know because I've been feeling like a prune. And I'll be trying. I really do. But some of these moisturizers just are not cutting it. So please let me know. But, yeah, I'm going to do just a part of my moisturizer all over my face. And boom, my face is hydrated. I feel great. Still pretty, check. Keep hosing, check. Run up a check. Get money, check. Still pretty, check. Keep hosing, check. Run up a check. 